there in Seminole County, a man who was sentenced to die, literally was on death row, has had all charges against him dropped. And I thank you for it. From the bottom of my heart. With tears in his eyes, Clemente Aguera Harkin thanked his team, his family, and the judge who told him his 15-year nightmare is over. I had to look at this case in a certain way based upon what the Supreme Court decided. It started in 2004 when the Honduran immigrant was accused of killing two women, a mother and her adult daughter, in their trailer. From the start, Aguirre Harkin said he found the women dead, that he tried to help, and that's how their blood got on his clothes and his footprints on the murder scene. He was found guilty and sentenced to die. I didn't did do it. I don't kill anybody. But more recent DNA tests showed blood found in the trailer did not match his blood, and a victim's relative confessed to the murders. Aguirre Harkin won a new trial on appeal, but on Monday, the state attorney's office dropped the charges altogether. I do know that nobody believed me back then. No one. Besides my mother, nobody believed me. Because of his immigration status, Clemente Aguera Harkin was initially in federal custody, but he was able to make bond and is now enjoying his freedom for the first time in 14 years. In Seminole County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.